Young Justice issue 4 sees Tim and the others still under the Opal Gem spell and imprisoned in the bowels of the Dark Castle Opal. Amethyst tells the group all of this, revealing who she is to them, but thanks to the spell, the group keep forgetting. They do learn that Amethyst is a political prisoner of Opal, and Tim wonders if anyone out there knows that she's missing. The day before, Amethyst breaks up Turquoise's arranged marriage to Lord Opal, and earlier, Amethyst holds court with the other gem houses, telling them that they need to take care of Opal now before more chaos can take over and their reality comes under more fire. The council tell her killing isn't their ways, but she doesn't care since their ways aren't working. The houses say that the wedding will continue as planned as they get back to their usual business. Amethyst doesn't give up, asking if any of them are happy living in chaos since the world used to be beautiful but it's being ruined by a man's greed and why they keep fighting for a life they aren't happy with she'll never know. Storming out of the council she remembers the story of Krypton and how her situation is similar. Listening back through the door she learns that the council plan on removing her from their table and sending her back to earth. Princess Turquoise comes to her defense saying that she is the heart and soul of the gem but it is useless as the rest of the council want her removed and if she goes for Lord Opal she is alone. In the present Bart still doesn't know how to react to learning that Connor has a wife and daughter. Connor tries to keep calm telling the Opal guard that they have done nothing wrong but the guard doesn't see it that way as all these lands are Lord Opals. As Bart begins to annoy the guard Connor gets his family back inside confronting the guard and his men telling them that they all should run away. The guard doesn't listen and attacks but Connor completely completely shatters his armor, telling his friends to take him and leave. Bart is happy to see his friend back in action, but demands Connor give him some answers, especially about his family. Bart learns that Connor's wife is named Loffy and his daughter is named Martha, after Martha Kent. But Superboy wants to know if Bart is there by himself. Bart excitedly tells him that Young Justice has been reformed and learns of the Battle of Metropolis that brought Bart and the others to Gemworld. Amethyst and the others meanwhile continue to try and get out of their prison cells as Ginny tells Robin that she's worried about her truck, since in the back of it is a trunk that belonged to her great-great-grandfather Jonah Hex and it's filled with weird stuff he collected over the years. Guards meanwhile find that trunk and open it and it incinerates them instantly. Robin knows that something is happening as Superboy arrives, freeing them and the others. Connor is glad to see all his old friends, hugging them as Ginny finds her truck. The group wonder how Connor got to Gemworld, but Connor tells them that they need to get out of the prison fast, but Amethyst says that whatever Superboy has heard about the evil castle, it is much worse. Earlier at Amethyst Castle, Amethyst voices her displeasure to Turquoise and how the other houses are making deals with Opal and how everyone is being cowardly about it. Amethyst knows that she is onto something and will learn what it is, but Turquoise suggests that she go back to Earth until all of this is sorted out, but the princess refuses. Turquoise tries to tell Amethyst something, but before she can, her castle is subject to a reality shift. Heading inside, Amethyst looks through the dark halls, finding Robin has teleported into the realm, not knowing where he is, but Amethyst has questions of her own for him. Young Justice Issue 4 continued the interesting gem world story by going Going back through the story so far and kind of filling in the gaps that were intentionally left open by Bendis for an issue just like this. I'm enjoying learning about the state of Gen World and how Lord Opal is using these reality shifts and the crises that were mentioned before to perform a coup on the world. I think that's really interesting and the little glimpses we've had of it are really cool as well as the internal politics that we saw play out through this issue with Amethyst and her council. That was really cool as well. All in all this is a really great adventure book and it's moving at a great pace and the story is revealing itself really well. I'm going to give this issue an 8.5 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans including myself and Joel from Kate Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude. Thank you so much for watching.